Well, hello, God bless you today. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I hope that you are having a great day. What a wonderful time it is to be alive in the annals of human history with all of the things that are going on in this, in this world. I'm telling you, I can see God working it out for me, working it out for you. God is moving by his spirit. He's doing great things whereof I am glad. Now, I am excited about tonight's teachings. Now, I have some things to say to you about the Lord and our response to the things that God does and the things that God allows. Um, uh, we, we, we Listen, I'll just put it to you this way. We have to respond toward him. And I want to I want to say something to you. And I'm, I'm giving you a little more insight into the message tonight, the study, the Bible study than I normally do. I want you to know this. God is not dealing with you without reason, without a cause, without a purpose. Even when things do not necessarily make sense to you or you can't see it all right now, that doesn't mean that it doesn't make sense. Even though you may not know the answer, that doesn't mean that there's not one. Even though you do not, perhaps do not understand, that doesn't mean that there is not understanding that is going to be gained because God is going to, to give understanding as the time goes by. You know, my friends, the truth is when it comes to the God of the Bible, we're not in control of him. He's in control of us. He rules and he super rules. The word that comes to my mind is sovereign. The sovereignty of God is amazing. And yet in God's sovereignty, we live in a fallen world where sin is ever, ever present, where suffering takes place. You've seen the headlines. You see what's going on in society today. You see the things that are happening in this world in which we live. And yet, the God of the Bible is still all knowing, all wise, all powerful, omnipresent. He's still in charge. And I'm going to show you in the scriptures tonight that all we got to do is trust him. We're going to believe on him and we're going to trust him because our life and times are in his hand. Now, I'm not going to hold you today with a lengthy uh, conversation, but I want you to know that Jesus loves you. Amen. And you're in his hands. He cares about you. And regardless of what your sit situation is like today, just stay with him. Hold to his hand. It'll change because the God of the Bible has a plan for you. He has a plan for me. And his overarching plan is for us to be found in his will. So meet me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> you guessed it, Bible study. For here tonight, we are going to study the word of of the Lord together. Now, God bless you and go out and make it a wonderful day. We'll see you tonight, whether live in the sanctuary or uh, on the social media. Join us. We're going to study the scriptures. God bless.